Uh, hi, uh, welcome to our PHP Laravel interview question series. Okay, uh, in this series, we in this lesson actually uh, we will explore what is container and how actually work. Actually, this answer has been uh, this question has been asked to me by like many in many interviews. Like uh, in any PHP interview that I appear, this question is so important. So important. <laughs> That's why I thought like uh, we will discuss this in detail. So okay, what is container? Uh, so container is uh, we will actually use this Fabian potential. Uh, definition I will uh, make sure to include this link in the description as well so a uh, container is a container a dependency injection container actually manages objects from the from the instantiation to their configuration okay this the objects who are being actually instantiated doesn't know that they are managed by container or not okay that's why this container is able to manage the PHP object so container is essentially like is a way is a component in any application uh, that actually know how to create objects and manage objects and like keep the copies of object to themselves if they are singleton like if you are using multiple strategies like if you want to uh, instantiate an object every time uh, you you receive this request or if you want to create a singleton object so you can actually register this definition with the container and uh, use it uh, so container is actually uh, nowadays container has become like essential part of any framework like uh, in even in Laravel PHP or in Spring Java or any framework like there is so yeah so this is the definition of the container like uh, what is container and how it works and uh, so now we will go to how it works actually uh, using an example we will try to implement our own container and we'll go through all the steps so that you will understand exactly like what container is and how it works okay so let's go ahead and this is our fresh level 8 project uh, actually let's go ahead and refresh this project in our browser okay see if it works okay so first thing is like uh, we'll create our own application container and we'll try to many dependencies using this container okay uh, so next thing in PSR there is uh, PHP uh, standard recommendations actually this is a, a group that actually provide the specification so that any component that we create in a, one framework that uh, is interchangeable or by any other component so this actually PSR4 makes sure to write a proper uh, description of uh, a standard so that if one framework actually uh, create a component uh, that can be used by other uh, framework uh, so the components are interchangeable okay this is the main purpose of the interface actually so php standard recommendation actually provides uh, a way or provides uh, the document that how sh you should write a container interface okay according to this actually container interface should only uh, have two methods get and has so, so let's go ahead and try to create a psr 11 compliant uh, application container so for that we'll just go ahead and uh, right over class app container so this container will actually implement uh, PSR for container interface okay so let's go ahead and implement this method get and has okay so uh, the purpose of has is to just to check if uh, the container knows our container has this instance in its uh, in its repository or not and get is used to build the instance of this class okay so for that actually let's go ahead and we will uh, create a repository of instances okay and uh, okay so whenever there is a request to create a component so get method we will just pass a class or a, a string like um, id of the class it can be id it can be a class as well so we will get to that as well uh, so let's go ahead and implement this method so we'll check if this has this uh, container so it means like this can um, uh, this class actually exists within the container repository so we'll just return the this object okay so in the has method we'll just uh, add a check that uh, do we have this uh, can uh, this class within our repository or not okay so we'll just do this check okay here we just check okay if we have this object we'll just return this object if we don't have this object we'll create this object uh, let's uh, name it instance and create object id so once we have object we can return the object but before returning we'll add it to our repository sorry okay so now let's go ahead and uh, 
create this object. Let's find this ID here. Okay, so how we will be able to create the object uh, just using the class name. So for that, actually PHP provide uh, reflection classes. So reflection classes, um, let's go ahead and check this definition of reflection classes as well. So, okay, uh, the, the reflection class actually reports information about a class. So with this reflection class, we can actually get the constructor, we can get the constructor parameters and everything, uh, everything within the class, pro public properties, private properties, anything that we want. Uh, so to do that, like first we need to check, let's change this parameter to class name. Okay, so here, uh, first of all, um, when we are trying to create object of this class, we'll just check like if this class exists or not. So for that, we'll just write, if class doesn't exist, we'll throw the exception. Okay, let's import this exception. Okay, now we know like the class exists. So if, if, here we will check if the class has a constructor or not, because if it doesn't have a constructor, we can just instantiate a new uh, new object and return it. Uh, it will all start to make sense when we will use the real classes. So it just follow along. So to get the class constructor, uh, we'll just check. Uh, we'll uh, use the reflection library. Uh, Let's go ahead and import it as well. Here we'll just provide the class name. So reflection class will actually read the class it, itself at runtime and will provide the information in a reflection class object. Okay. So here we can check if reflection class null. If then there is no constructor, then we can just go ahead and and can uh, create a object of this class because in that case uh, without constructor mean that we don't have to inject any dependencies into the constructor so we can just inst instantiate a new object and return it so here uh, we know like uh, this constructor there is a constructor and that we need to inject the parameter here we will try to uh, get the parameters okay to get the parameters constructor parameters we will just do reflection class get constructor and get parameters okay so now these are the raw parameters so at this point we will get the parameters uh, parameters class names uh, and then we have to instantiate these parameters as well so to do that let's go ahead and write another method we'll call these parameters dependencies this dot build dependencies and we'll pass on the parameters okay and uh, let's go ahead and, and implement this method as well. Okay, so here we will get parameter. So this parameter are also of type uh, reflection parameter. Let's uh, add the dog so that we will get uh, the intelligence. So there will be array of these parameters. Let's go ahead and import this class as well. Okay, so and it will also return array. Uh, so here what we will do is we will build this object of these parameters and return so that can be used to instantiate uh, this class as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and create uh, dependencies array and let's iterate on these parameters and then here we will return the dependence. But here we can actually again use uh, this method so we can actually uh, build the transitive dependencies as well uh, i will uh, i will explain more the transitive dependencies in a second let's go ahead and just fix this method uh, so dependencies actually make uh, we'll use the same method create object So this parameter is a reflection parameter. So we'll just get class and uh, we'll get the class name from this and we'll create the object for it. So once we have all the dependencies that we need to inject into this class constructor, so what we can do is we can just do reflection class new instance args and here we can pass dependencies. 
okay so our container uh, the basic implementation of our container is ready so let's go ahead and test this and uh, to test this we'll create uh, a structure here so we'll create a car a class okay so in this car class we'll have we need to inject an engine actually let's go ahead and create an engine class as well so in the car constructor car needs an engine to run uh, so in constructor we'll pass the engine okay and let's add a property here protect it okay uh, okay so now uh, to understand this we have a car class that needs an engine to run um, so we'll try to uh, instantiate this car object using container so let's go ahead and test this Okay, so here this we have an app container here with us and let's try to uh, get the object of car. So we'll just pass the car class name and let's see like what it does. Let's turn this instance. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh our browser. Okay. So as you can see, like it created a car class and then it passed an engine object to this. And let's go ahead and add some properties to engine so that you can you are able to see. For example, uh, public name. Um, this is an engine of maybe M1. Okay. And let's go ahead and refresh it again. So as you can see, like it uh, actually created an engine object and it passed to the car structure. So let's try to explore it again. Uh, Okay, here we just created a container object, a container object which is a container a PSR for compliant container now. So it has now two method get two public method get and has. So has is just checking like if it has this instance or not, and if it has it, then uh, it will uh, send the same object that it has, and if it doesn't have, then it will create the object and it will send it back. And in the create object, um, uh, this is the, our main method, uh, which is doing all the magical work here. So here we're using a reflection class. A reflection class we is used to actually uh, get the information about a class. So um, we pass this class to reflection class and reflection class we try we try to check like okay if it has a constructor or not. If it doesn't uh, if it doesn't have then it uh, will just instantiate a new object and pass it. Uh, pass it back if it has a constructor then we'll see like okay if there is a dependency in the constructor okay so if there is a dependency it will try to create the object of that dependency and uh, then it will inject these dependencies by when creating a new object so let's try to add uh, for example a turbine in the engine and let's see if it works for example there is a turbine and engine actually needs a turbine to run okay let's go ahead and um, make it protected and let's make this protected as well okay okay it is of turbine okay class this um, let's use oh, okay um okay uh, php doesn't support this <laughs> i'm sorry i was thinking about another language let's go ahead and pass this here And here in the turbine, actually, we can set up protected properties. Um, RPM, it is has 1500 RPMs. Okay, and let's go ahead and refresh this. And it should be able to create a car class. And in the car class, when it's creating engine, it should be able to create a turbine class, uh, which doesn't have a constructor. So it will be able to do everything of that. So this is uh, all the magic here. Let's go ahead and refresh this to see if it worked. Okay, so it created the car class. In the car class, it passed the engine parameter in the constructor. And when it was creating the engine, it created the turbine class and injected the turbine class to engine and engine class to constructor. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, actually pretty much it for this container. Uh, so in this lesson, like we try to understand, okay, what is container? Um, what is PSR? Uh, and what is the purpose of the PSR and how to write your own container. So I'm sure like uh, that you will, you are able to understand this container. 
and uh, in any interview if anyone asks you what is container and if you can implement a container i'm sure you will be able to answer that uh, let me know if uh, you have any question or comment related to this video or any question in general for the programming i will try to answer that yeah that's it for this video uh, bye bye cheers see you in the next video